Scarface, a cult Hollywood crime drama movie, directed by Brian De Palma, and written by Oliver Stone, was released in 1983. It depicts the narrative of Cuban fugitive Tony Montana, Al Pacino, who lands in destitute Miami following the Mariel boatlift, but rises to become a powerful and exceedingly deadly drug lord. The film is a loose remake of the 1932 film of the same name, and is based on the 1929 novel of the same name. The film also stars Stephen Bauer, Michelle Pfeiffer, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, and Robert Loggia. Scarface had its world premiere on December 1, 1983, in New York City, and was officially released by Universal Pictures on December 9, 1983. The film's estimated $30 million budget was more than covered by its $45 million domestic and $66 million international revenues. Scarface was one of the first movies to use the swear word, fuck, a lot, 226 times in total. Scarface came out at the same time when hip-hop was becoming popular, and it has had a lasting effect on hip-hop musicians. The protagonist of the movie was Al Pacino, who played Tony Montana, a Cuban refugee who goes on to become a wealthy drug kingpin in Miami, only to be led down by his intoxication for power. Al Pacino, is recognized as one of the most talented actors in the world, having won one Academy Award, two Primetime Awards and two Tony Awards, he is one of the few actors in the world to be bestowed with the triple crown of acting. He is still active as an actor and a filmmaker. He was seen in Ridley Scott's House of Gucci, as Aldo Gucci. In the year 2023, the 82-year-old Pacino is planning to co-produce a movie about Amadeo Modigliani with Johnny Depp and Barry Navita. Michelle Pfeiffer, played the role of Al Pacino's wife Elvira. She is Frank Lopez's, Robert Loggia, mistress and after he dies, she marries Tony Montana. Pfeiffer has been one of Hollywood's most bankable actresses. For four decades. In 2007, she got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Several publications have stated that she is one of the most beautiful women in the world. She is also regarded as as a sex symbol. Her roles in Dangerous Liaisons, 1988, and The Fabulous Baker Boys, 1989, for which she won a Golden Globe Award, got her nominated for two Academy Awards in a row, for Best Supporting Actress and Best Actress. Stephen Bauer played Manny Ray, Tony's best friend and right-hand man, who along with him, rises to become the head honchos in the cocaine business. He was the only real-life Cuban from the main cast. Stephen Bauer, the Cuban-born actor played Eladio Vuente, the leader of a drug cartel, in both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio played the role of Tony's sister Gina. In Scarface, Tony is seen to be overprotective about her. She was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. For her role as Carmen. In the 1986 movie The Color of Money. Her other movie roles include The Abyss, 1989, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, 1991, and The Perfect Storm, 2000. She played Madeline Burke on the NBC action show Blindspot from 2018 to 2020. Robert Loggia portrayed Miami drug boss Frank Lopez, who trains Tony and Manny to rise in the underworld. In a career spanning more than six decades, Loggia appeared in several films. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for Jagged Edge, 1985, and received the Saturn Award for Big, 1988. On December 4, 2015, at the age of 85, he died in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles of complications from Alzheimer's disease. Mariam Colon portrayed Tony's principled mother, Mama Montana. She was an actress from Puerto Rico. In New York City, she founded and directed the Puerto Rican Traveling Theater. She was awarded the National Medal of Arts by President Barack Obama in 2014. On March 3, 2017, at the age of 80, she passed due to complications from a lung illness. Tammy Lynn Leppert, a teen model, appears as a prostitute during the chainsaw scene. Leppert vanished five months later and has been missing ever since. Gino Silva portrays the skull, the assassin who kills Tony Montana. Sidney Lumet was first hired as the film's director. Bregman disagreed with Lumet's plan to make a more political film. That blamed the present presidential administration for the influx of cocaine into the United States. He was succeeded by Brian De Palma, and the writer Oliver Stone was hired. Robert De Niro was offered the starring role of Tony Montana, but he declined. Pacino insisted on playing the part despite De Niro's refusal. 
Pfeiffer was a relatively unknown actress at the time, and both Pacino and De Palma opposed her selection, but Bregman campaigned for her inclusion. Antonio Montana. Always. <laughs> Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And press the bell icon for new videos.